Today I'll be showing you how to subscribe to RSS feeds. An RSS feed is a feed that allows you to view multiple sites news in one convenient location. There are many RSS feed readers out there, but we are going to focus in on the RSS aggregator that can be made a Chrome extension. As you can see, I've already added it to my browser, but you can add it by clicking right here. Once you've added it, you can then find the icon in the top right corner of your browser. If we click it and then select Read Feeds, it'll take you to view all the feeds you're subscribed to. You can see all the sites I'm subscribed to on the left. The numbers in gray beside them represent unread posts. Over here in the center, you can view each post individually. If the dot is grayed, for instance, right here, and the heading is bolded, that means it's unread. If the dot is white and the heading or subject line is not bolded, it has been read. You can change between unread and read by clicking the check mark below. It's right here. For instance, this post is grayed out and bolded when it's not open. If we select it and then hit the check mark, it now changes to red. You can see that it's red by the white dot and it's no longer bolded. Or, say you want to save it for later, you can select it again, check it again, and it becomes unread again, making it easier to find it later. Now, we're going to learn how to subscribe to new feeds that we can add to our collection. For example, project-based learning. You can see the RSS aggregator icon right here. If we were to select that, it'll take us to the subscribe page with a subscribe button. It also added RSS to the URL. If we hit the subscribe button, it now has been added to our feeds on the left. You can also see there are 10 unread posts. Another way to subscribe is using that icon in the top right corner. Notice how it's orange now instead of gray. If we select that and then hit the line with the plus sign, it'll now add us by subscribing again. Now you can see that here as well. If you right click any of your feeds on the left, you can see that you can group them by making a new group. You can see I already have one labeled major news outlets. You can see how often you update them. Right now mine's set for every three hours, but you can do never, by the minutes, by the hours, or weekly. You can also delete one as you get tired of it. If you wanted to move things around on the left side within the groups, for example, US News being a major news outlet, I can select it and hold it and drag it down and it's now under the category Major News. You can also hit the headings and make it go away and then click it again or the feeds heading and make it go away. So you can easily add that on the side too. Overall, the RSS aggregator is a great extension that is easy to use. I would encourage anyone to try it out. 